website that you can use to take your PDF files and convert them into a document that students can edit. So the website is called pdfescape.com. And again, there's other ones too. Um, this was just one that was shown to me by another UCS teacher. Thank you, Chris Smith. So you are going to choose your file. And I already actually um, added a writing activity that I downloaded already. So this is from Teacher Pay Teacher. Um, it's processing the file for me. So once it uploads, this is a story map that I want students to fill out. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is to give them an area to type. You're going to click on Form Field. This is going to ask you what kind of form field that you want. You want uh, text, and you're going to select that. So now you're going to click and drag to insert new tabs. So what you're going to do, I need a title page or a title. So I'm going to click there. It's going to give me a text box. I'm going to shape that text box so it fits in that spot. And then when I do a control click or a right click, you are going to want to go to object properties. And <clears throat> you are going to click multi-line and click OK. And then you are going to click again. It's going to give you another box because, again, you're still on this form field piece. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to do a control click or a right click. Click on object properties, multi-line, OK. And I'm going to go through and do this for every box. Now remember, uh, in some you're going to want your boxes bigger if they're going to have to write something in there that's a little bit longer. And I'm just going to continue going with this. Object properties, multi-line, OK. And again, as I go through, I'm just pulling these squares on the corner to make your text box bigger. And you could keep going down. I'm going to stop right here just so you can see what the difference is. When you are done with this, you are going to click on this green arrow on the left hand side. It says save and download PDF. So I am going to download it. For me, it is showing up uh, on the bottom left of my screen it might be different depending on what kind of computer you're on. But when I open this now, you will be able to see that there are boxes now um, where you can actually click on and edit uh, your story. You can add your characters, your setting. Now, um, this is all fine and good, but Keep in mind, when students do this, they're going to have to resave it. Um, I'm going to show you um, how to download and resave in another activity. But that's how you get the actual PDF done. Now, if you're going to incorporate that into your Schoology platform, you're just going to upload this as a file. Hopefully, I can get into my Schoology. So... When I go into my course, I'm going to uh, possibly I'll just add a page, or actually I can add an assignment for this. And then when for the Minecraft writing assignment, I can add my uh, directions in there like I normally would and then where it says file you are going to attach the file so I resaved <clears throat> this Minecraft pop-up activity let's see so it's going to pop up you're going to create it in there oops I need a camera Sorry, I'm graded. And then it is going to show up. Come in. At the bottom here of the screen. 
Now, if a student needs to download that, they're going to have to actually download the activity and then they open it up. They're going to have to type it in here and then they're actually going to have to re-download it and re-save it to their desktop so that they can turn it into you. Oops. So when a student needs to do that, they can go into the submit button and submit it, but they're going to have to attach the file. So that's a little bit of a learning curve for your students. Um, it's not not doable, but it's just for your little guys that might be uh, a little bit trickier than just clicking on it and opening it and typing in the answers. They're going to have to save it and then they're going to have to resubmit it to you. So I hope that helps to give you some kind of an overview of how to use uh, PDF Escape and uh, to edit your PDF documents.